How's it going YouTube? I thought today we'd have a look at a new addition I've got to the toolkit. I've got a Top Don TC View thermal camera. I've stuck it back in the box so we can unbox it and have a proper look at it. These thermal cameras normally are a bit unobtainable because of the price. This one's a bit more affordable. I've actually got as well a Fleur i5. This is the one I've been using before. Uh, what we'll do is we'll set this up and we'll compare this one against that one and we'll we'll have a look how they stand together the reason i want to show this one is when i originally bought this one this was nearly a thousand pounds this at the time uh, is it getting on a bit now though this one's a lot more attainable i've got a few other top down bits as well i quite like their quality i've got the rt diag pro here this is for the car diagnostics that's a really good piece of kit and if we have a look at the mr2 as well stuff down here I've got the Top Don Tornado 4000 charger. This has just left trickle charging now because I've not used this for a while. This particular one is Android and Windows PC. They do an Apple version as well for the iPhone, but we've got the Android one here. So let's get it on the bench and have a quick look at it, shall we? Right, here it is, how it comes. This is a TC View by Top Don Thermal Imaging Camera. It's a USB type C connection, so it's usable on the Android and the PC. If we have a quick look on the back, uh, we've got a few boring specs here. Uh, we've got a 256 by 192 high res IR camera, real-time temperature waveform, compatible with Android and Windows, as I said, temperature abnormality alarm, uh, testable temperature range, this is the important one, minus 20 degrees C or minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 550 degrees C or 1022 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, customizable image in optimization i will show you what that is when we get to it so if we open this up it comes in a nice little carrying case if i put this box to one side let's have a look this is a quite this is a hard case so it protects it from damage the good thing about these little ones for the phone like this is they're nice and compact they can fit in anywhere whereas the as you can see the fleur they're a they're a lot larger a larger unit right inside the case we get the camera itself nice small compact on the other side you've got the ir imaging camera there as you can see and a usb-c connection in the top we've got an extension cable if you so wish to use that uh, with a little usb to usb-a adapter so you can plug it into your pc tablet or or anything like that little cleaning rag and some instructions with a QR code for the app that you can download. Uh, the app is called TC001, you can find it on Google Play. This is the manual showing you how to, where to get it from and what it's called. Right, so I've got a little Google Pixel that I use for things like this. First thing you want to do is you want to go and download the TC001 app. You can either go to the Play Store to get it, or you can scan the QR code in the instructions, as I said earlier. Download the app, get it installed. Right, so when we open the app, Right, this is the first screen you'll see. I've actually got a newer version detected, popped up. So before we go on, I will update it to this latest version. So let's get that updated now. Uh, we've got the latest version installed now, so if we press open, we'll, we'll get the app started. As you can see in the top right-hand corner, it's flashing saying not connected. That's because we've not got the unit connected, obviously. So all we do, we literally, we take the phone, take the camera, plug it in. You'll notice at the top screen, it says connected now. So now we can go to the thermal imaging and there we are, the thermal imaging. I find it better to hold the phone upside down so the camera's at the top. It makes it be easier for, for when you're grabbing like that. Right, so what we've done is I've set it up on the bench with a little clamp there so we can go through a few settings on this thing. Let's have a look. Oh, you're helping, are you? Right. Right, seems the cat has volunteered to help. Uh, right, in the centre, it's got a, a little television there that's just like a little pixel animation thing that just keeps going round and round and round. I've got the screen pointing at that. Uh, what you can see there is in the centre, it's got a it's got a little cross, and that cross is showing that it's 31.7 degrees at that point. Um, on the scale, it's set it up to 36 to, uh, from, this is all in centigrade, so it's set it up from 28 to 32, and it's a, it's a moving feast all the time between what's the coolest thing on the screen and what's the hottest thing on the screen. It also shows the two temperatures there, look, that point there is the coolest of the screen, and that point there is the hottest thing on the screen. 
uh, in the centre is what it's looking at there. Uh, there's very there's various things we can do with this. Down at the bottom, uh, we've got a little camera icon. It gives us a few options here where we can either take a photo or we can do a video. Uh, the video feature is one of the advantages over the FLIR that I've got, that current model, because that current model just does photos. Uh, if we go to the second tab, uh, this has got various uh, settings that we can set up to measure the temperatures. So we can pick a point, uh, say this one, using the dot, we can pick a point there and it'll tell us what the temperature is at that point. Uh, you're not really helping Cat, are you there? There's various other things that we can set up on it. It's got a line, uh, as you can see there, I can draw a line with my fingers and it'll measure everything along that point from the coolest to the hottest in that point. If I go to delete, delete all those points. Um, We've got various options. So we've got a dot point, a line point, a plane point, and the full image, which is just the, the average of the full image. Right, on this next tab, we've got a few different options here. I'm actually going to have to remove it from this because the camera is where this is held. So if I just remove it out of this, it needs to see the camera as well. We've got a transparency mode there. So it shows what the camera's seeing on the phone. And, oh, cat's in the way and what the thermal image camera is seeing as well. And you can move this around on the screen to get it out of the way. So when you're recording, you'll see both of these images. Uh, this can also be pinched to zoom to resize it to how you wish. Next one along is we've got a zoom mode. So we can zoom the camera in, it's a digital zoom. So we can zoom in and see what we're looking at in that way. Uh, the next tab along is just different colors that we can use depending on what you're doing and how you'd like to view uh, the next one along is the settings uh, we've got the color bar on the side you can turn it on and off uh, contrast settings and details there's a hundred percent showing the detail and zero percent if i get this to slide down zero percent you can see the details disappeared in the television there on the end you've got a little thermometer symbol you've got a high temperature range a normal temperature range and you can turn the automatic recognition on and off. Right, if we come back out to the main screen, uh, the next one along is temperature monitoring. I'll have to adjust this because this won't work upside down. It doesn't automatically flip the screen, the temperature monitoring. So what we'll do is it's either got to be this way up or we can do it sideways. So I'll, I'll set this up to be sideways. Right, so on temperature monitoring, we can generate an image. Uh, we pick the monitoring type we want, whether it's a dot, line or a plane. If we pick a dot and then click OK, it says select an area to monitor. So what we do, if I select set this up, hopefully it'll avoid the cat's ass. And then I can set it to monitor, say monitor that little screen there. So I can set the point, it's set it 31.9 degrees, you see it is. Then I can click start recording and it'll record the temperatures at that point over a given amount of time. And we could just leave it set up like that. So if we're wanting to monitor something, we can just leave it recording for as long as it needs to record. And then it can monitor the temperatures of a point and it'll record them on a graph. So we can look back at those again later. Uh, back out here, we've got the gallery for any photos or videos that we've taken. Uh, there's a little option at the bottom for personal information. So if you're a business wanting to print out reports and things like that, you can fill in that personal information there. Side by side with the FLIR, you can see how they both look. Uh, much nicer screen on the phone, obviously. Uh, the FLIR's still got its place, though. The FLIR's showing slightly hotter, uh, but this is quite an old camera, and I, I don't know how it's, uh, the accuracy of it is anymore anyway, uh, so I can't comment on the accuracy of either of these, to be honest. But for the difference in price between the two, uh, this top down definitely is a nice little piece of kit. Right, so now we've seen how to use this camera. Let's go and see some actual practical uses of this. See if I can show you some. Obviously, we've got the amusement factor of stalking your pets like the Predator. You can actually use it like this at night as well. So if you, if you look out in your garden or you're walking your dog or something at night, uh, you can use this camera and your pet would glow up like this in the dark. So you'll never lose your animals at night. One of the best uses for these cameras around your home is finding places where you're wasting energy. So what you can do is if you have a look around the inside of your home uh, or the outside, you need a good 10 degrees difference uh, between the inside and the outside so you can see any spots. 
because you see when I'm looking in one spot there on the floor everything's a, a similar color apart from my feet obviously so if I look up at the ceiling uh, I found a spot earlier while I was looking around you see there around the ceiling there if I bring in the camera you can see right there there's an orange spot it's quite hot outside today obviously in winter it'd be the opposite way around it'd be everything would be orange and then the spot would be blue uh, but if I look around the ceiling look you can see it's pretty stable the color apart from there's an orange spot there which is showing a hot spot which that will be some insulation in my loft that's missing so that requires me at some point while i've found this to go up into the loft uh, because that i'll be losing heat through that in the winter uh, so that is a good thing that you can have a look around the house for uh, you can do a similar thing around with your doors as well uh, it's better in winter you see there where the cat flap is uh, that's obviously a cooler spot because it's not as well insulated as the rest of the door but what it will show you is around the edge of your doors it would be quite blue if you're if you're getting cold coming in through your doors you can do a pretty similar thing on the outside of your house as well so at winter if you point this at your house what you should see is all your house should be nice and blue if you've got any orange spots any heat spots so it's a good thing to check the insulation on your house with this right, another good thing to look for is electrical faults uh, or potential faults if you've got a circuit breaker or a loose cable or something like that that's going to cause a potential fire the proper way to do it is remove all the cover and everything but unless you're a trained electrician then you can't you'd leave it like this but it will actually show you if you look with the camera you'll see they're all nice and cool if you spotted say one if i look at this uh if i look at this transformer here you'll see that this is quite a bit more orange than everything else in there so if you saw one of those circuit breakers more orange than the other ones then you'd know that that's getting hot and that is a potential problem so you can get out an electrician to come and have a look at that good thing to look at for safety right another good thing is i've used these to find plumbing faults before as well uh, the other side of this wall is my shower this is just an example of what you can do with it it's not actually finding a fault or anything but I have found faults in this way. I've had things like these valves fail and things like that at work. So you, so you can use the camera to trace it down. If I touch these with my hands, all these feel exactly the same temperature to me. This is the, All three of these are all cold. If I look at this through the camera, you can actually see that we've got one set a lot more blue than the other one. So that shows that that one's the cold water feed and the other one's the hot water feed. Uh, one thing you can do with this this pipe here the cold water one this one goes up here to the shower it's coming from over there it also goes down to the bottom i'm assuming that goes under the shower and then across to the sink in the bathroom and then it's got another pipe that goes all the way up to the top there one thing i wouldn't know is which is the feed does it come from over there or does it come from here so if i get my camera at the minute let's get it closer everything looks pretty much the same but if i start the shower we should see a difference because the one that is the feed will get much colder let's have a look right shower's running i can now feel that this is hotter and this is cold so i i can feel with my fingers now which is the hot and the cold but if we look at this cold pipe there you are look you can see the the hot pipe there is now hot but if we look at this cold pipe what you'll see is it's darker blue going across there this one that goes up to the ceiling is a much lighter blue which means that the water is coming in from over that way this way up to this pipe so there you can see which way your water's flowing you can also use this like i said for things like these valves that are not opening or a mixer valve that's not working properly you can see then a difference between the temperatures even though it feels the same sometimes to your hand you can actually see the difference there with the camera that's literally this to touch is cold that's cold that's cold but looking at there you can see a physical difference in temperature so you can see where the water's coming from good little tool for plumbing problems right there's many things you can use this for on the car but let's just point out one quick one shall we imagine you've been driving home there's been a funny rumbling coming from your wheels and you're thinking cool that sounds like a dodgy wheel bearing or a brake binding or something like that but you don't know which one it is 
you get home after a long drive all you need to do is go around your four wheels and just look for one that's significantly warmer than the others this has obviously not been driving anywhere but that one will tell you straight away which one's having the problem you can also check if you're using too much fuel or something like that um, you can also check your tires you can see your tire temperatures after you've been on a long drive and if you've got one significantly warmer than the other then it could be like low tire pressure or something like that that's just one very basic thing that you could do with this on your car there's obviously a million more things like looking at the coolant lines problems with the turbo anything like that there's a million things you could do with this it's useful on the car right so there's a couple of really quick examples of the sort of things you can do with this i'll put links in the description to where you can get this and probably the charger and a few other bits that i've got from top don as well because they're quite good gear I hope you enjoyed this video like the video if you liked it subscribe if you want to see some more things like this if i come across anything else useful in my toolbox i'll do a quick video of it but little things like this i do find them really useful so i've just thought i'd do a quick video on that so i'll catch you guys later in the next video cheers